everybody, it's H.E. Medley, and yes, I am using the Disneyland background. I just love it so much, and I wanted to use it more often. So I am super excited because I'm going to be making my very first custom American Girl doll. So we are going to be customizing, if you can already guess, Natalie here. Um, so right now she has layered blonde hair and blue eyes, classic face mold. She's not too interesting. <laughs> she's very basic. Uh, she's a truly me 27. But yeah, I just, I've been looking into customizing dolls for a long time and I really wanted to give it a try and then I saw this wig and everything seemed to come together. So I'm really excited and nervous at the same time because I don't know how it's gonna go. <laughs> I don't really need to fix her up or anything because she's already in pretty good condition. Her original wig is a little dry though because um, my sister put some product in her hair and it's always been dry ever since. So I'm a little nervous because this is my first attempt at removing a doll wig, so <laughs> we'll see how this goes. So I've got my fork and my spoon and I'm gonna be trying to remove her wig. I'm just worried I'm gonna rip it and I do want to save her wig, so we'll see what happens. As you can see, I was able to get her old wig off and it's still in decent condition, so I can still use it. So I've stored the wig in case I want to reuse it or sell it. Yeah, I'm really happy because I successfully removed her wig and it took a lot of effort to try and figure out how to actually do it. I mean, I've seen so many tutorials and now is the real thing. So I'm really proud of myself right now. So I'm just gonna trim off this extra hair. All went downhill from there. First I attempted a face up, yeah, no, let's press the undo button. And when I actually tried to get the wig on, I couldn't. It almost seemed too small to fit her and every time I tried to get it on, it would just slide right off. I had no other option than to ask someone to do it for me. I made a deal with a man who fixed dolls and even he wasn't sure if it would work. He also said not to use tacky glue, which is what I've heard you're supposed to use, but I'm still new to this. Anyway, about a week and a half later, Natalie was ready to be picked up. And the man said it didn't end up being a problem, but the whole experience was a bit of a mess and I kind of felt like I should have been able to do everything myself. After all that though, I was happy to finally have my first custom. All that was left was to get her dressed and brush out her hair.
here she is before and after. I have to say this whole thing was quite a journey. I wasn't able to do as much as I had hoped, but I do love the final product. Her wig is so unique and very high quality and smooth. It was a lot of fun and very satisfying to take these photos of her. So that is all. Thank you for coming on this customization journey with me. And I hope you all have a great week.